Vanity of vanities. All that is done without God's guidance is vanity. Futile, meaningless, a wisp of smoke, a vapor that vanishes. The wind goes to the south and circles about to the north. It circles and circles about continually, and on its circuit, the wind returns again. That which has been is that which will be again, and that which has been done is that which will be done again. So there is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which it can be said, see this, it is new? It has already existed for the vast ages of time recorded and unrecorded, which were before us. There is no remembrance of earlier things, nor also of the latter things that are to come. There will be for them no remembrance, by generations will come after them. The Futility of Human Wisdom And I set my mind to seek and explore by man's wisdom all human activity that has been done under heaven. It is a miserable business and a burdensome task which God has given the sons of men with which to be busy and distressed. I have seen all the works which have been done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity, a futile grasping and chasing after the wind. What is crooked cannot be straightened, and what is defective and lacking cannot be counted. I spoke with my heart, saying, Behold, I have acquired great human wisdom and experience more than all who were over Jerusalem before me, and my mind has observed the wealth of moral wisdom and scientific knowledge. And I set my mind to know practical wisdom and to discern the character of madness and folly in which men seem to find satisfaction. I realize that this too is a futile grasping and chasing after the wind. For in much human wisdom there is much displeasure and exasperation, increasing knowledge increases sorrow. He has planted eternity, a sense of divine purpose in the human heart, a mysterious longing which nothing under the sun can satisfy except God. Yet man cannot find out, comprehend, or grasp what God has done, his overall plan, from the beginning to the end. I know that whatever God does, it endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor can anything be taken from it. For God does it so that men will fear and worship him with all filled reverence, knowing that he is God. That which has already been, and that which will be, has already been. For God seeks what has passed by so that history repeats itself. Don't be hasty with your mouth, careless words, or impulsive and thought bringing up a matter before God. He's in heaven and you're on earth, therefore let your words be few. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. The sleep of a working man is sweet, whether he eats little or much, but the full stomach greed of the rich who hungers for even more will not let him sleep. Whoever loves money never has enough money. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with his income. This too is vanity. To accept his lot and be happy in his work, this is a gift of God. There is a righteous man who perishes in spite of his righteousness, and there is a wicked man who lives a long life in spite of his wickedness. Do not be excessively righteous like those given to self-conceit, and do not be overly wise and pretentious. Why should you bring yourself to ruin? Do not be excessively or willfully wicked, and do not be a fool. Why should you die before your time? It is good that you take hold of one thing, righteousness, and also not let go of the other, wisdom. For the one who fears and worships God with awe-filled reverence will come forth with both of them. When I applied my mind to know wisdom and to see the activities of mankind that take place upon the earth, how some men seem to sleep neither day or night, and I saw all the work of God, I concluded that man cannot discover the work that is done under the sun. Even though man may labor in seeking, he will not discover, and more than that, though a wise man thinks and claims he knows, he will not be able to find it out. The words of wise men heard in quietness are better than the shouting of one who rules among fools. If the temper of the ruler rises against you, do not leave your post showing resistance, because composure and calmness prevent great offenses. Whoever watches the wind will not plant, whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the path of the wind or how the body is formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. Be warned, the writing of many books is endless, so do not believe everything you read, and excessive study and devotion to books is tiresome to the body. When all has been heard, the end of the matter is fear God, worship Him with awe filled reverence, knowing that He is Almighty God, and keep His commandments, for this applies to every person. 
For God will bring every act to judgment, every hidden and secret thing, whether it is good or evil.